kiss my ass, sugar. I want to know what it is Quick is trying to say. I ain't trying to say shit. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay, the girls are What's up, YTPC? Welcome back to the Sunday Night Special, baby. I know it's been too long. I apologize. I apologize. Had some things going on, YTPC. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Good to be back, baby. Smoking my OMS Pretty Pretty Devil Hands with some Russ Willette's Tasty Cake in there tonight. Well, let's not delay. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to me. Even over my little lapse of uh, posting videos regularly, I appreciate you coming back. I appreciate you checking me out on the Sunday Night Special. If this is your first Sunday Night Special and checking Big John out, this is what you do, man. You grab you a drink. You grab your pipe. You grab your cigar. Whatever you smoke, whatever you drink, whatever you do. Sit back in your chair and check it out, baby. Here we go. Let's hit it. And let's get it, baby. What you know about them dab kings, baby? Cheers, baby. Jones and the Dab Kings, baby. How long do I have to wait? Let's get it, baby. YTPC, you're beautiful. And I'm glad to see you. I'm glad that you came back. I appreciate you getting me over 700 subs. We'll have something pretty soon here. Just keep an eye out. We'll be giving away a little something, something here. I haven't quite decided yet, but we will figure it out. Well, tonight, YTPC, we're going to have something a little special for you. I've been tooting around with doing a little Dutch oven cooking. Now, I ain't no professional, and I ain't no chef. There's a lot of things I can learn. So, I'm by no means trying to act like I am the, the man as far as Dutch ovens, grills, eh, I can I can hang with them, but Dutchies, hmm. Well, let's just see what happens. Let's come on to the backyard, baby. Let's see Big John's meal he made for Father's Day. That's right, Big Daddy was cooking. Let's check it out. What's up, YouTube? We're going to do something a little different today, y'all. Sunday night special tonight. I'm going to do a little Dutch oven cooking. 
I'm gonna get my coals right here. Got my old grill out here. We're gonna put the Dutch oven in it. We're gonna do a cobbler on the grill. We're gonna do some uh, beef and potatoes on the grill. Did some uh, cabbage rolls last night, but uh, it was practice round. Now championship round is on, so let's hit it. Let's get it. Y'all wanna see my backyard? I got a couple little, I got a little, little garden right here, a little shrub tomato, my little peppers. Got my little cucumbers, straight eights, you know. Got some watermelons as a cantaloupe. Got my Russian sage here. Baby got a little poo. That's my backyard, nothing special. I'm working man's backyard, you know. You know how we do. Got my little poor people Japanese garden with my little tree. Ain't nothing, a little overgrown. Got some weeds. And back here, got a couple shrubs and little bushes. Got my cherry tomatoes. Back here, got my little rucka tomatoes and my, my fat daddies. Hopefully, to be coming pretty soon here. So, we got that going. Got a couple hostas and some rhubarb back there and some mint. So, yeah, this is my backyard YTPC. This is my chill spot. I'll be back at you. We'll get this uh, stuff together and I'll get with you. Yeah, hey. we are back. We're cruising along in a nice 300. I went ahead and put the Dutch oven on in there. I got me a nice little assortment of coals down there in the bottom. I got my top coals over here chilling and I might leave a couple over there for my cobbler or whatnot. But I got all my stuff out here. Got my stew beef. Got now I'm no I'm no professional chef so uh, y'all hang with me now this ain't no cooking show so we got the chopped onions we got some uh, Cajun style onion celery green peppers and then we got some some carrots got my potatoes all halved up and got my stew meat there so we got the Dutchie going he's nice and warming up here let's see let's see get that little tool under there all right now i went ahead and got the dutchie straightened out with a little bit of lard so it's nice and hot and plus that that cleans off some of that little mess from uh those uh those uh cabbage rolls we had last night so uh get the meat in there and we'll i'll show you here in a second all right ytpc and we're back baby Get this meat stirred around a little bit here. It's nice and hot, so it's cooking up nice and good. On my flavors on beef, I just like a little salt and a little pepper. That's it. That's all I use for beef. A little salt, a little pepper. We got that dusty rolling. Get a little gravy down in here. So what I'm gonna do, since we nice and hot, I'm gonna put just a little bit of this, this old cheap old beef, beef broth right there. Just make a little gravy. Something to work with. Cause I already got that lard in there now. So that's gonna get me working. Get me working good. Alright, so now we're gonna put some of the other stuff off in there. Let's go and put some of them little the onion, celery, and green pepper blend. Put that in there like that, Joe. So. I'm gonna put a whole white onion bag in there because I love me some onions. I know some people say, well, we do all that. Uh, we'll put the put it in there, let it saute and all that stuff and put a little vinegar on it. But hey, you know, I'm, this ain't no cooking show, baby. So we just doing what we can. I'm working with one arm here. All right, so what we're gonna do we gonna mix that up with that beef and them peppers and them may and my carrots and get that all in there nice and right. 
night. All right. So that's where we at so far. What we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and add the rest of my beef broth here. And we might end up having to add a little water to it. Go ahead and add the rest of that beef broth there. Let's see. I went ahead and added one pack of brown gravy mix. And then I added a little pack of that au jus gravy mix or whatnot. Get it in there cooking. Oh man, this smells so dang good. I had a little bit more salt and pepper to taste, but it's gonna be a we're gonna have this going for a couple hours, so it's gonna be nice. Looking just for some be nice beef and potatoes in the Dutchie. All right, I'm gonna add my potatoes. I'll be right nice back. washed little golden jokers in there. Like I said, I'm a rookie at this. If you want to really know how to do this good, get with old uh, Carolina Chris and Calvin's Corner and them cats. Them the ones that really know how to do this right. So we just gonna, we're gonna let that do its thing. Get a little mix in there, you know. Let that kinda do its thing. A little beef and potatoes. We're back, so to the cobbler. I took two things of yellow cake, uh, mixed it up with some farmer's market peaches, a little bit of banana. I left it nice and chunky. I had a little bit of milk because I figured it needed a little bit more juice to it, and we'll see how it works out. Put a little bit of cinnamon, vanilla, and a little bit of cream cheese, and I put a little sugar on top so it uh, should crust over nice and well. So got the banana peach cobbler there, and we'll set him on the grill here. And so that's how we're gonna roll. We got our beef and potatoes over here, nice and percolating. We got the peach cobbler over here, nice off to the side. Hey, what's up, YTPC? Big John coming back at you, baby. Well, we got them coals rolling. Got my pipe, baby, and then went to go see a little show, Secret Life of Pets 2. Mm, I got some of that double toasted burly. Mm. Man, it's sitting back here thinking it's, you know, such a blessing to be a, uh, to be a father. And, uh, I'm not a perfect father, not a perfect dad, by any means. I struggle with being a little too strict at times. You know, it's one of those things where I just want the best for my baby. And she, she's smart. And you know, little kids, they pick up on stuff so quick. And not just my daughter. Everybody think, you know, they kid is special, you know. And, you know, it's nothing wrong bragging on your kid. But, you know, I think all kids are special. Every kid has different strengths and weaknesses and stuff like that. And I see a lot of myself and my daughter. And, you know, when you see that, it scares the hell out of you. Because you're... You just don't want them to make the same mistakes you made. You want them to have a better life, you know what I'm saying? But I'm very thankful today. I'm having a great weekend. I'm having fun with my new little hobby with this little Dutch oven. Definitely this time of the year is gardening and hanging out on the porch and Spending time with family, we got the little pool up or whatnot. Bay Boo, hanging out here with the puppy dog, Mr. Maui. Get up, Mr. Maui.
that double toasted burly is ready. Smoking in my little Peterson, 1930 Free Irish State Peterson. It is my two-timer Carter Hall machine. And now, get away from that grill. This dog is determined to burn his nose on this grill. In the yard. Don't put your nose on that grill. I ain't going to the vet. You'll be walking around with petroleum jelly on it. Like I was saying, the day the Lord made, it's beautiful, I'm blessed, I'm happy, got a, you know, got a good job, able to give my family the, you know, the kind of life that I, I would hope, you know, best I can do, and uh, we'll just keep working hard. Working all these 12-hour shifts is, is hard sometimes because you you always seem like you just want more, want more, want more. I want, you know, and I always want more for my family. I think every man does. But you sit back and you appreciate what you got. And that's, a, that's something that I think a lot of people miss, you know. They're constantly after, on to the next thing, on to the next thing. You gotta stop smelling roses, baby. And there go that dog again, peeing on my Korean lilac. What is wrong with you? Get out that garden now. Pee over there. It's trees and stuff. Got a chance um, to check out the Father of Flame uh, movie, documentary, whatever we want to call it, whatnot on Amazon. I went ahead and rented it, watched it twice. Mama watched it once. Um, I, I'm i blown away by it. I thought it was really good. I learned a lot. Got to see a lot of different things that I, I, I never... I mean, I had an idea where Briar came from, but I, I didn't realize just how absolutely cool it looked with them, them, them heath trees. It's got them little bitty trunks on them, you know, and then they got that big ball at the bottom. And it's not like, you know, a root ball, but it's like a, you know, just a big hunk of underground wood just, and man, watching Nemo and them put that together. It was real cool. Watching uh, Lee Irk and them and seeing uh, Siston's, uh, Siston Iverson's uh, workshop and Nana Iverson and all of them, you know. Get to see Chicago Pipe Show on there. I mean, it was, it was cool, you know. I really enjoyed it. Especially when you, you know something that you're into, and then they make a little show about it. I mean, it's just it's just cool, man. You know. Drinking on a little sweet tea. Taking it easy on this fine Sunday. I got my Alexander pipes. Little Yeti mug. Yeah, man. Just been chilling. Got to talk with Smokey Mo and Randy and Harriet and Alec last night. And Old Bird. Jeff the Chef was on there. We got to chill out on House Party. And man, it was cool. talking to everybody and you know when you don't talk to people in a couple days you know it's you, you, 
especially when you kind of get to know them and you get to know their life and everything else like that, you know, you get a kind of a vested interest in them and you want to make sure that they're doing all right. It seems like everybody's doing good. There's some good promises, good, some, some good blessings. I'm praying for everybody around, you know, old Berg and his family and I'm praying for, you know, his health and Smokey Mo and everything else like that. It, his family and everything like that, I'm, you know, I'm just happy and I'm, I'm in, a, in a good place and I'm, and I'm blessed and I'm rambling. But uh, that's all I got, YTPC. That's all I got. Man, this two-timer is good. Straight up and down blend. You get it for 20-something bucks a pound. I'm learning how to pack it. I'm packing it a little bit looser than I had been. It was burning a little hot on me. So I was just kind of letting it fill, gravity fill or whatnot. Now I'm getting some just some really good flavors out of it. Nice, strong, good taste in tobacco. Definitely an all day smoke for me. Well, YTPC, let's get back over here and see what them coals are doing. We'll check the temperature, put some more coals on the top of that uh, Dutchie. And uh, we'll see what's everything's going. Make sure it's percolating right. I'll holler at you. Be back in a minute, peace. You see, well, I'm back. What I did was I lifted it and I rotated it. Looking at uh, Calvin's Corner and them and Carolina Chris, they tend to rotate their Dutch oven. And I threw some, some nice hot coals on the top there. Like I said, I'm not too worried about over here. That radiant heat should be just fine on that. I might go ahead and give him a little rotate there so he doesn't get too uh, overdone on one side. But that's it. Let's see if we can get our heat back to where it needs to be. BC, where we're checking in. Cobbler's nice and rolling. And let's, uh, let's take a look at these beef and potatoes here. Nice and good, nice and rolling. Happy Father's Day, YTPC. All right, YTPC, well, it's time for the finished product. Let's look at that glorious cobbler. Glory, glory. I'm not the baker. Let's see what this is talking about. Ooh. Glory. Well, YTPC, I gots to go. I gots to go, player. All right, YTPC. Well, I appreciate you sticking through that. I appreciate you stopping through for the Sunday night special. Come on back sometime. We're going to have some more stuff. We're going to get it posted, get it rocking, baby. And have a happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Stay tuned. I'm going to have a little giveaway pretty soon here, getting over the 700 sub hump. And I appreciate everybody. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Stick with your boy. And let's get it. And let's hit it, baby. Peace. Love. Go subscribe, somebody, baby.